This video is about doing quick and easy Christmas crafts that cost only pennies to make. The first one is the thrifted Christmas mug with the bottle brush tree. The second one is an old jar with a bottle brush tree. And the third one is a printable online printable with an old thrifted picture frame. This is the first project. You need a piece of oasis to put down in the bottom of your mug. So cut it to size. I just measure mine with the hole in the top of the mug. You have to keep trimming it. You want it to be probably a little bit like shorter than the top because the tree you want it to set down the base you want it to set across the very top of the mug. So you keep trimming it. I just use a saw sawtooth knife. These crafts are so cheap and easy to make. You don't want it too tall, the piece of oasis, because the tree will stick out too far. Perfect. Nope, I guess i got to trim a little bit more off. That should fit good now. Yeah, that is perfect. It's perfectly fine to use a little bit of um, hot glue to do this. Now I've got to put a little hot glue on the bottom of the tree. And there you go. It's finished. Easy as pie. Easy pleasy. Taking no time to do and costs pennies to make. The dollar store I bought the bottle brush tree. So here's project number two. It's an old mason jar. It's the taller one. And I'm going to use the mason jar top, but I have an old vintage top and I want to get the same color. So how I done that is just use different color grays and just kept dabbing the different colors on. Dark gray, light gray, until I got the color that matched the best with the old vintage jar top. I dried it with a blow dryer and actually I put some matte varnish on top just so it wouldn't scrape off but I didn't show doing that here. This one's just as easy as project number one. Now I got that bottle brush tree at the dollar store as well. Put some glue on that. And put that in the jar and that will hold it. Now I'm using a little bit of Epsom salt. Looks like snow. And I'll just pour probably 
a half an inch all around the edges of it. I found that wasn't sparkly enough, so I used some um, glitter and I put in the added to it. So here's project number three. I thrifted two picture frames made of wood and I printed that off from my um, pay uh, from my online store. It's an instant download. Uh, the link will be in the description below and I was just seeing which frame looked the best and I chose the white one and I just got a piece of cardboard there's no glass in the frame and I had a, a mat as well that fit perfect around the print So I use double sided tape that rolls on to step my print to the cardboard. I just rolled it all along the edges, made a cross in the middle. I love the, the music sheet crafts. I find the double sided tape sticks really good with paper. So the next step will be to put the, the mat board in. So I'm going to use hot glue to do that. So I'll just put some hot glue around the edges of the, of the frame. And that will stick it just fine. Put a few more dabs of glue on so it will stick. Press it down. In the print on the cardboard, I'm just going to hot glue that on as well. And I'm just going to not put the glue the whole way around the edge of the frame. I'm just going to tack it in the corners and a few little places.
and that'll hold just fine. This doesn't have any glass in, and if you want to give it a coat of Mod Podge just to protect it from, from anything, from water or whatever, that would be fine. I didn't, but that would help protect it. So there it is, another easy project. And here's a display of what they all look like together. And a few extra cups and jars added to 